So go on then. Tell me. If nothing to say, have you? Cos you're sneaking off to this hotel with him for a night away. Is that what you really think? Right, that is it. I've had enough. I am not having two trollops shouting and brawling in my pub. <laughs> but, out! Get your hands off me! I'm in the gutter where you belong. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but you invited me. And as I am now joint owner... Whoa, hang on a minute. You just say you're joint owner? Didn't you know? Oh, so not exactly your pub after all, Michelle. I have known for ages this summer going. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong, Kyla. Who chose the hotel you are in? Kyla, that hotel had nothing to do with me. Do you know what? I feel sorry for you, because you don't know half of it. Half of what? She's right. It's got nothing to do with her. It's meant to be for me and you. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, because it's true. It was meant to be a surprise. Yeah, they're telling the truth, Carla. And what do you know about it? You told me this morning. It arranged it. Ask her if you don't believe me. Yeah, or Leanne and Nick, they know all about it. It's for me and you. Now do you believe me? You know, I'd get my facts right if I was you. Well, another storm in the teacup. I asked you if you were hiding anything, and you said no. Well, she wants you till next week. She thought you might need a hand, so she came early. I couldn't afford to buy the place outright. Oh, I don't believe this. So you asked your mother? Well, it's better than having no pub at all. Hey, I didn't even want the flipping place. What? Oh, yeah. He bought it behind me back. So it would be a surprise. And then he wonders why I wasn't over the moon. He didn't even tell Michelle. And then he talks me round like an idiot, I agree. And just when I'm getting used to the idea, I find I'm going to be sharing it. Hey, I'm not some kind of monster, you know. No, I know that. It's just that when I left Underworld, it was because I didn't want to play second fiddle to Peter. Well, you're not going to be doing that with me, Mother. Depends how things pan out. See? You see? It's going to be your rule in the roost, not me. Well, it is my money. Well, half of it is. But, look, let's all just calm down. And is she going to be living here and all? Where else am I going to live? Do you know what, Steve? You have pulled some flankers in your time, but this one beats the lot. Oh, are you OK, love? Yeah, where's Kylie? Oh, heading for the bistro last time I saw her. You want to slap her back? <sighs> So is she going to be running this place or what? Oh, she wants to cover herself up, whatever she's doing. Even kind of friend. Yeah. I don't suppose Kylie's outburst came as any great surprise to you, did it? Why'd you say that? Well, I mean, you, you work with David. I mean, you must have got wind that. Uh... No. <laughs> I think you're the one with wind, Norris. So how is Spain? Oh, I had a ball. Sunshine all year round. Cheap booze, great food. Oh, and the odd dark-eyed ombre. <laughs> uh, well, I'd be lying if I said no. So why would you come back to this, then? Well, you can't stay on holiday all your life, can you? It's not real. I thought you were working there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was in one of these boutique spas. Made a load of money and then bought into it. But I always knew I'd come back here. And then when Steve rang, it just felt right. So I sold up. And here I am. Right, and does it still feel right? All new ventures have teething problems. Nothing I can't handle. Tina. Thanks for that. Don't ask me to do anything for you again. No, I won't, but you saved my life. Keep yourself and your loony wife away from me in future, OK? I've had enough of your problems last me a lifetime. There we are. So, have you been keeping well, Owen? Yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah, very well. You remember Anna? Yeah. Nice to see you again. Yeah, and you. So, are you two an item now? Yeah, for two years and going strong. What happened to Eddie, then? Did you put him in hospital as well? <laughs> no, don't worry. All water under the bridge for me. As long as you don't give me any trouble, you are both welcome here any time. Oh, what am I going to say to him? Oh, get some drinks. 
You made an absolute fool of yourself out there. Yes, thank you. I'm quite aware of what happened. When are you ever going to learn to trust me? Well, can you blame me for thinking what I did? Here's me looking like a sight after having Lily and... Are you kidding? <sighs> and I keep seeing you with her all the time. Yeah, she's been sorting out the hotel thing for me. I didn't know that, did I? Kylie, how many times do I have to tell you it's you I love? And I love you. Right, so what are we arguing about? Where's Lily? My hand's got her. Right, well, I'll go get her. No, I'll do it. Have you got the hotel reservation? No, it's here. Mm. You better want to do this now, or else you're dead. <laughs> have you thought any more about the holiday? Yeah, have you? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go first? OK, well, I think we should go a bit mad. Hire a sports car and drive across France. Don't plan anything, just go where the spirit takes us and then when we've had enough, come home. It's original. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Well, I was thinking more of a nice little cruise. Uh, Mediterranean, maybe. All laid on, nothing too hectic. Yeah, right. Well, all we've got to do now is find a happy medium. <laughs> <laughs> Muchísimas gracias por llevarme al aeropuerto. <laughs> Hablamos pronto, Luis. Cuídate. Hasta luego. <laughs> I thought I was cool, knowing how to order a beer in Spanish. Uh, who was that? Oh, just a mate who ran me to the airport this morning. I said I'd promise to let him know I'd got here, OK? You've given all that up for... This. No, I have given it up for my real friends, like you and Deirdre. Oh, that reminds me, I must go around and see her. No, my roots are here. Coming through. Michelle's dad, isn't it? Barry. <laughs> I'm helping move uh, Michelle and Steve in. Ah, so I'm not the only new arrival, then. Oh, no, <laughs> it's all cold today. <laughs> and, uh, how's Amy? Yeah, she's well. I can't wait to see her. So we finished it first, then you were her. Does it matter? Oh, uh, obviously. It's dead and buried, OK? I can't wait to see her face. She's going to be so excited. So I was assuming she wants to go. Yeah, of course she will. How was your dancing lesson? Norris was very patient. I bet you were fabulous. Oh, oh hiya. Hey, yeah. You'll never guess what's happened. What? Liz McDonald's back. No. Norris was telling me Michelle's nose is right out of joint, apparently. Hayley, I... Uh, no wonder. I'm sure I'd feel the same. Oh, oh Jane! Oh, no! Oh, Fizz, this is Jane who I was telling you about. This is oh, Fizz. Hiya. 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 No, I've been trying to ring you. Really? Oh, no, it's not spread to your ears now, Whoa. is it? <laughs> Oh, God, it's on silent for some reason. All oh, right. Uh, no, I, I just wondered if you fancied a drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love one. You don't mind, dear, right? Um, Where do you want to go? Bistro? Uh, yeah, fine. Do, do you think it might be long? Oh, here we go. Prison warden. No, no. Didn't you say at the start of all this that I should think about myself more? Yes. Right, well, see you later. <laughs> see you later, see please. Oh, I love the bistro. Yeah. I'm sure they won't be long. I suppose a bottle of wine and a DVD is off the agenda now. Well, that's what I came to say. You better get home and show Willie. Right, I'll give you these back then. Cheers. Oh, whoops, sorry. What's that? Well, that's a David. What's it doing in there? Care of the salon. Not another hotel reservation, is it? Well, it's been opened. Have a look. What is it? It's nothing bad, is it? No. Not really. Kylie, tell me. A DNA test? What? Does that mean David had one done on Lily? Why? Obviously. You haven't, have you? No! So why do you think you have? <sighs> well, he's never really trusted me. You can hardly blame him with my track record, can you? 
And there was this bloke just helping me out before Christmas. What do you mean, helping you out? We were just mates. No, it happened. We were just texting a lot and David got the wrong idea. Yeah, but still, a DNA test. I mean, that is massive. He was obviously really worried. Yeah, can we just stop going on about it, please? The results say he's the father, so end of. Are you going to tell him you know? No. And you better not say out either. I'd have it out with him. Why? Well, he's having a go at you at the bistro for not trusting him. He's twice as bad. I wouldn't let him get away with that. Don't you think a cruise would be a bit claustrophobic? Well, we had a lovely time on our honeymoon. Might be nice to ring the changes, though. Yeah, well, you know what they say, then, is if it's not broke... Yeah, but you can't get off a shit when you fancy it, can you? I don't think I'd want to. I'm looking for something relaxing. Be full of old fuddy-duddies, though. I don't see why. And anyway, when you think about it, we're a couple of old fuddy-duddies. Well, speak for yourself. Well, you know what I mean. I... Aren't you drawn to the open road? No. The mystery of never knowing where you're going to lay your head each night. I can't think of anything more stressful than supposing you don't find somewhere. There was always somewhere. Oh, yeah, a grotty B&B, &B maybe, with a smelly French toilet. I like my creature comfort. Where's your spirit of adventure? It's gone. And the thoughts of squeezing into a sports car. These grand tourists are bags of space. Let's do a cruise, Dennis. Oh, I was joking this morning when I said we'd end up doing what you want. And so was I. But he who pays the piper calls the tune. No, I'm trying to be the voice of reason. If we were 20 years younger, maybe we could chance it. Not at our age. All right, cruise it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Cheers. Was that Leanne? i trying to get Simon settled. Won't be back for a bit. Good job you got me to look after you, then. You know you can go. I'm off the life support machine now. Will you be all right for the christening tomorrow? David's going to be disappointed. You're right now, that's the least of my worries. OK. Hello? I need to see you. Uh, it's a bit difficult. My mum's here. Well, can't you get rid of her? What's this about? I can't talk on the phone. I've got to see you. Something's happened. OK, yeah. Give me a few minutes. Hey. I've locked up for you. Are they not back yet? How long are you going to give her? Another ten minutes. Right, you're not taking all this lot. I've been on three weather forecasting websites. They all say something different. Stop worrying. You're going to have a brilliant time, whatever the weather's like. I want to be ready for all eventualities. Right, well, we can stick it in the back of the car. I suppose there's room. Oh, I can see you now, strolling down that prom, eating your fish and chips. I hope Hannah and Jenna will be all right without me. Never mind them. Just go and enjoy yourselves. Make it count. Yes. So come on. What's this? Open it. See what I mean about urgent. What the cobbler threw at his wife. The last. Cobbler, last. Yeah, go and get yourself a couple of drinks on the house, Dad. You've earned it. There's no point taking this out of my mummy now. I'm not mad at her, Steve. I'm mad at you. Well, we're going to have to find a way to get round it somehow, because I can't undo it. Not in a hurry, anyway. So we're stuck, in other words. Did I leave my lippy in here? Oh, yes. I thought so. You do realise that he told me he'd spoken to you about all this? Oh, yeah. He's a good liar. I'm learning that, all right. You've put me in a very difficult position now. Well, it's put us both in a difficult position. Then again, I do understand why I did it. Yeah? Because you're an idiot. At least she's David's. So not even go there. Question is, why has he done it? Maybe he suspects him then. Well, yeah, but what? Have you said anything? Me? But I you joking. I was the one who persuaded you not to tell him, remember? Have you said anything? No! Won't be Mum, not after what happened. Then why has he done it? Uh, past cage dancing, maybe it was because of that. 
We haven't done anything like that since I married him. Except with you. Baby you thought you were playing around. It was about the time you were going to split up. He was vile to me before Christmas. Yeah, but you're spending nights away, threatening to go and live with Becky. Baby just want to make sure the baby's his. That's what I told Eva. Eva? You told her? She was there when I found the letter. But once if she goes mouthing off? She won't. <sighs> All this after I accused Tina of sleeping with him. What? I found a hotel reservation. I thought it were for her. It turned out it were for me. I feel a right prat. I know one thing. He's crazy about you. How do you know? Because he tells me. And if he didn't love you, he'd tell me that as well. You reckon? Yeah. He's so happy the baby's his. Just put the letter back before he realises it's gone. You can live happily ever after. Something just don't feel right. I know it sounds mad, but he can't know, can he? If he did, we'd know about it. You know what he's like. Just put the letter back. Simple as that. What else can you do? Put the letter back. At the end of it, you watch. <laughs> Why did you lie to me about Michelle? Because I didn't think you needed to know. Because you thought I'd slay you more like. No. You thought I might say no as well, which would have spoiled your little plan money-wise. Exactly. He said this is all for me and to make me happy. It's actually all for you. It's all for us. Oh, one happy family. Why not? All he thinks about is himself. Uh. And it's no good keep rolling your eyes. I gave up my home in Spain. Lock, stock and barrel. We don't have to come. Well, you'd have been in a fix if I hadn't. I kept my side of the bargain. Least you could have done is tell me what I were letting myself in for. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, that's it. All gang up on me. I can't do right for doing flipping wrong here. Oh, please. Oh, well, excuse me. Trying to make everybody happy. I could wring his stupid little neck. Till his eyes go pop. <laughs> <laughs> David? No, it's me. I heard about your set two with Tina. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I saw with David and Tina. I know. Found it in there, presumably. Oh. The hotel reservation. That's where I put it. Last night, when I heard you, so you wouldn't find it. Uh, yeah. Me and Eva, we, um, we took some DVDs to watch. Wish I'd been here. Could have explained. Made a right fool of myself. Yes. So, are you making any plans for Christmas? Um, yeah, I know why. It's a strange one, that, isn't it? No. How about you? Uh, well... Not sort of far, but we don't have kids like you and Jeff, so it's not so big a deal. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. I seem a bit under the weather. Well, I am dying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, here's Roy. Oh, God, I can't leave you alone for five minutes. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, don't worry, Roy. I've got to go anyway. What's the matter? I can't hold it in any longer. What? If we don't go soon, we'll miss everything. Go where? I booked us a trip away to Blackpool. Seriously? We must leave by 6.15 at the latest. Oh, Roy! Well, I'm going to have to go and pack. Fizzers don't know that. Right. Really? Yeah, but we must get a move on. If we're late for dinner, we have to rush the illuminations. Right, I'm coming straight away. I'm so sorry, Jim. Oh, don't be daft. You get off. Will you be all right? Yes, and I promise not to peg out before you get back. Oh, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Love to Jeff. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye, love. Hello? Hello? Kylie back yet? Oh, she's putting Lily down. I heard about her and Tina. Yeah, I could have done without that. Bet you could. You should have learnt to trust you by now. That's what I told her. Been with Nick all afternoon. Oh, yeah? How is he? Grumpy as anything. But who can blame him? I think I'd be the same in his shoes. Can't be much fun, can it, hobbling about? With your faculties not quite back to normal. 
You're just going to have to be patient. Well, we all are. Oh. Hey, you all right? Hey. How's Lily? Fine. Big day tomorrow? <laughs> Can't wait. Do you want a beer? Yeah, go on, then. Oh, you could pour me one of those. <laughs> oh, steady on, Mother. I'm doing the cooking. I think I deserve one. Yeah, well, we don't want you drunk and disorderly, do we, in charge of an oven? I've got a better head for alcohol than you give me credit for. Oh, come off, it. Yeah. Half a glass of cooking sherry and you're anybody's. <laughs> what is for tea? Have a lovely time! I had the hang of that clutch. Don't worry, Roy. It'll come. Uh, you're a bit loaded up, aren't you, for a driving lesson? Oh, well, what if we're up to Blackpool? What at this time? Yeah, cos Roy's a mad, impetuous fool, and I love him. Oh. <laughs> right. See ya! Okay. See ya, Audrey. Bye, So Roy and Haley are Blackpool bound. You can follow her online diary as she reflects on her and Roy's most special moments at itv.com slash Haley now. Next, the doctor's worried about his health, but maybe he should be a little more worried about his relationship with Louisa. It's Doc Martin next here on ITV.